Yeah. As I was saying, he saw one saying his likeness. Alright? He wants you to look like him before you have a basham, you have a shy. Which is transgression. Alright? So let me do a mix up his image with his mark. So it's like this. We serve. Let me, let me, let me go back to here, right? Let me go back to this. Right? I want to look for something here, right? You know what go on there? What go on there? Right? All. Exodus 16 and verse 2. It says, If thou buy an Hebrew servant, six years he shall serve, and in the seventh year he shall go out free for nothing. If he came in by himself, he shall go out by himself. If he were married, then his wife shall go out with him. If his master have given him a wife, and she have borne him sons and daughters, or daughters, the wife and her children shall be her masters, and he shall go by himself. And if the servant shall plainly say, I love my master, and I love my master, my wife, and my children, I will not go out free. Then his master shall bring him unto the judges. He shall also bring him to the door, or unto the doorposts, and his master shall bore his ear through with an oil, and he shall serve him forever. Right there explains the concept of the MOTB which Apostle Latter have brought out. It's just a digital old now. Alright? It's digital. Now what what were you before that? Before he was bought what were the servant before that? He was in his master's image. Whatever his master wanted, he had to do. Because this man is over him. Right? Let us be real. This man is over him. That is his master. So he was in his image. If his master want him to pick this up, do that, he do it. He master say, Go here, he go. He must say, come, he come. Because he have a master, he is a servant. We, on this earth, apart from the ones who depart, through the belief I have, shy, John the 8th, chapter the 32nd verse, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The ones who depart from the, from the belief I have, about Shami shy, the majority of other people on this earth, are servants they are servants servants to whom servants to the international bank and elite is that a lie it's not a lie it's the truth all right they are servants now what triggered this man into giving over his life to be a servant the loss of his family his children because this is the law if you come in with a wife you have to go with your wife if you come in as a servant to the to the to the master with your child with your wife and you come to serve the master you come to be under his image his likeness whatever he like you have to do because you are a servant if you come in with your family, you are to leave with your family. If you didn't come in with a family and the said master gave you a wife, you impregnate that wife, you started a family within that six year period serving this man. Yes, you might have two children or three or how much ever. Your children young, you love your wife, you love your master, you treat you good. Right? The loss of that would tr- would trigger this man now to say I'll be a servant forever. 
because why he really don't want to lose the family wife and the children right he don't want to lose it and what did his master do his master did a physical thing to him to prove that he is now my servant forever Esau is losing power Esau is realizing that the servants of Yahweh Basham Yahweshai which are the Israelites beginning with the elect are about to leave him now there are some who wants to stay and serve their master which is Esau but there are some who Esau wants because he wants what he can't have which is the elect their master their true master which is Yahweh Basham Yahweh is going to come for them and Esau knows this Because he didn't release us. He kept us. So. It's the same concept. Right? It's the same concept. With the. With the. With the MOTB. In the days to come. A lot of people. Would experience this. This is the book of Revelation. The third chapter. And the tenth verse. And it says. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Right? It shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. The hour of temptation is going into a time when you will be tempted tempted to do what to sin is that is transgression to take the MOTB it is the Lord said don't take it if you do take it there is a command there is a law by the Lord if you do take it you are you are in transgression and the Lord said don't make no piercing in your flesh right you, you are in transgression if you take it but there, there is going to come a time where as us men in this truth being servants of the heavenly father and his only begotten son Esau is going to use men's children the loss of that the loss of wives the loss of children the loss of jobs the loss of food the loss of shelter clothing Esau is going to use these lugs uh, let me not say luxuries these um comforts that you have he's going to use these things against you because he's the one providing it for you going back to the scriptures in Deuteronomy 28 chapter I'm gonna get our precept there real quick this is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 <laughs> verse 48 verse 47 no, verse 48 it says therefore shall thou serve thine enemies which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee and he did that in slavery putting a yoke of iron upon our necks now we are bound to him by these different contracts they were both papers our insurance our our licenses our id cards because these things are contracts that our pair since we born we parents signed signed off us as servants to the international bankers on them both papers and things them thing is the contracts that binds us to the system 
But mentally, through your Hawa Shai and the belief in him, we are free from that system. And then our Lord is coming to physically free us from Esau's clutches and his entire nation. But some of his in some of in some of them in his nation he is going to destroy. Because of the fact that they chose this ma their this Edomite over him. But those my enemies which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. Okay. So let me go back to Revelation. So as I read, there is going to come a time where you are going to be tempted. And what is such a time? Tempted to do what? Tempted to do what? Exactly. To 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 give over fully to the Edomite. Because of loss of everything else. Loss of your earthly treasures. You will be tempted to give over fully to the Edomite and his power structure and what he wants. Not just be in his image. Be in his image, but fully, always, and permanently in his image. And his stamp or his badge or his all will certify that. Because the servant, the Hebrew servant, as we just read in Exodus, the 16th chapter, was in his master's image for that six year period. And the loss of his family, the loss of his wife, or his master was treating him good, and he didn't have anything before that, and he come to his master and his master treated him good, getting goodies, triggered him, because the six year period is about to come, the seven year period is about to come, it's about to be completed. It triggered him to give over fully to his, to, his, to, to his master. And his master would take a stamp, a badge, a mark, and mark his servant with this all, certifying that this man here is no longer a servant for six years, but for an entire life. It's not for a period of time, it's for his entire life. He is going to serve me. Right? So it's written in the law. Now, what is going to happen in this time here? This hour of temptation is to tempt whoever. You see, those who don't believe what the, you know, what the apostles are saying is the MOTB, you will be tempted. The scripture just says, it shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. You will definitely be tempted. You ain't going to escape. Now, you have to pray to the Lord to see if you will, if you will be able to escape. I mean you wouldn't be able you're not going to escape meaning you can't go somewhere and hide it coming so you have to know what you're about all right you could be in it and the lord could make a way for you to escape but you can't outrun this it's going to be in your face right So we're dealing with the MOTV being the Karagma. So you're in this beast's image at this moment in time. Plenty of Israel in the image of the beast. His image is his likeness. Because you're serving him. You are a servant to him. And this is the man of sin. 
so you're serving this man of sin so you are automatically sinful you are all caught up into the roman way of life plenty of israel caught up into idolatry plenty of israel caught up into adultery plenty of israel caught up into um the l the, the alphabet people the democracy plenty of israel caught up into murders thieving and all these different abominable acts they are in the image of the beast because as we read in the book of um, Sirach, the 10th chapter and the 2nd verse, whatsoever man, the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. And this is the man of sin, undoubtedly. He is the man of sin. As the Lord said unto Cain, um, sin, if thou doest well, I'm going to get up. I'm going to get up. Genesis chapter 4 and verse 7 says, If thou doest well, shall, not, shall thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin light at the door, and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. He is the man of sin. That was Cain. Cain is the man of sin. Cain's descendants are who in power right now as we speak. Our people are serving Cain's descendants. So they will be by default in the image of sin. This word has been spread throughout the four corners of the earth, which is terrifying the devils. Because more and more people are exiting his image. As the scripture tells us in, in the book of um, Isaiah. Song of Solomon, Salak. Isaiah, uh, in person, Song of Solomon, Isaiah chapter 25 and verse 7 says, And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. See, more and more Israelites are waking up, and by waking up. Just as we did, who believe in Yahushai, they departed from his image, his sinful image. They departed, they left it, they, they had nothing to do with that anymore. I believe in the Lord now. So we started to do the right things, we started to pray, we started to fast, we started to keep the commandments of the Lord. Go on the highways and the Bibles and, the, and we preach and Jay keep waking up, which is... According to this prophecy, destroying in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people. All these lies that were spread across the four corners of the earth is being destroyed by this truth. And this devil is seeing that. And upon him seeing that, as it says in Revelation, the 12th chapter and the 12th verse, it says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath because he knew it that he had but a short time he is going to bring wrath why is he going why is he going to bring wrath because he know his time is short and how does he know his time is short jake is waking up <clears throat> departing from his image you see he is not like the the servant who would let his uh he's not like the master who would let his servant depart in peace if the servant wanted to depart after the seventh year he's not like that man he's not like that uh, master no he wants his servant to continually serve him 
And if a servant wants to depart, he will torture his servant. Let me, let me um, get a precept here in the book of um, Zechariah chapter 1 and uh, verse 15. It says, And I am very sore displeased with the heathen that had ease, for I was but a little displeased. But they helped forward the affliction. Alright. This nigga overdid. He overdo. Alright. We we'll get an next precept. Book uh, Ezekiel. Chapter 35. <laughs> And verse 5 it says, Because thou hast let me see who the let me show you the Lord is talking to. Ezekiel 35 and 3. It says, And say unto it, Thus saith the Lord, Power, Yahweh, behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out mine hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate. And this is speaking of Edom. And thou shalt know that I am Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword, in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. And he went overboard. He forward the affliction. He kept going. He is not like this master who would stop and say, Hey, this is the laws of the Lord. No, this is the man of sin we are speaking about. He wants you in his image for life. So by you departing from his image, it makes him very angry, as the scriptures say. Right? It's not me saying it, it's the scripture saying it. Nothing could trump scripture. Eh? WFI said that. Nothing could trump scripture. Nothing could trump scripture. And it's true. So, seeing that he's angry that we are waking up, he knows he has but a short time. Jake waking up to the idea, the knowledge that they are Israelites. He's not like the master who would let you go free. What would he do now? What would he do now? They are no longer in my image. They don't want to follow me anymore. Because he feed off our way. Eh? He get power. He, he live good. He live good off our see. Of us, he, he lived healthy. <laughs> he, he, he made fat by Jake. And now Jake talking about Yahweh Shai and the Lord coming for them. Brand them. So this is where now we get the old. But it's an upgraded old. And it's an old. That will go in your right hand or in your forehead, as the scriptures clearly say. Because when you read in the book of Revelation, the 13th chapter, there are, as the WFI rightfully said, there are beasts mentioned in Daniel, the, 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 the seventh chapter, Daniel, the eighth chapter, and Revelation, the 12th chapter, and Revelation, the 13th chapter. Yes, they are. <laughs> And they represent kingdoms, yes, they do. But when you read in Revelation chapter 13, Revelation the 13th chapter specifically is speaking about Edom. So like when you read Daniel the 7th chapter, Daniel the 7th chapter from the first verse to the to about the fifth verse is speaking of different kingdoms. What the fuck? Let me get at it real quick and then um Daniel chapter 7 and verse 1 verse 2 says Daniel speak and said I saw 
in my vision by night and behold the four winds of the heaven shove upon the great sea and four great beasts came up from the sea diverse one from another the first was like a lion and had eagle's wings now this is going into babylon i beheld therefore i beheld till the wings therefore were plucked the wings represents the assyrians because the assyrians predates the babylonian empire with nebuchadnezzar and them which were also assyrians babylonian empire were also assyrians and it was lifted up from the earth and made stand upon the feet as a man and a man's heart was given to it and behold another beast is second like to a bear now this here is going into the medes and the persians and it raised up itself on one side and it and it had three ribs in the mouth of it between the teeth of it and they said thus unto it arise devour much flesh right so what we just covered there was the babylonians and the medes and the persians right raising up itself on one side is the medes the per, the persians was lower than the select the medes were lower than the persians the persians was higher than the medes in that kingdom now when you read verse 6 it goes into after this i beheld and lo another like a leopard right another like a leopard from this point in time come straight down to verse seven and verse eight come straight on to verse eight you are dealing with edomites ruling the earth now in between that you had jake ruling the medieval um kingdom the 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 um medieval times the the byzantine empire right In between seven and eight the wine go and read seven and eight i just go in and take all the point from the leopard and after this i beheld a ladder like unto a leopard which had on the back of it four wings of a fowl and it, the beast had also four heads and dominion was given to it now this leopard here is dealing with alexander the great this is why when you read in revelation the 13th chapter it starts from there and I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast, Revelation 13 and 1, and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and, se and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the names of blas the name of blasphemy. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard. Because that represents Greek, the Greece alexander the greek alexander the great he was the the, the the first ruling the first over greece right you could get in and um any maccabees right first maccabees first chapter this book the first maccabees chapter one and verse one it says and it happened after that alexander the son of philip the macedonian who came out of the land of shittim had smitten darius the king of the persians and means which is what we just read that he reigned in his stead the first over greece right so we so we see that and this whole beast structure is patterned after the greek world and what used to go on in greece violence complete violence and that is what this whole beast structure is structured over uh, like because this is Edomite ruling. As it says in Jeremiah 13, 23, then may you do good that are accustomed to do evil. Right? So the beast was like on a leopard. So we're dealing with Edomite power structure. Right? Come all the way down and his feet was the feet of a bear the bear represents russia because going back to daniel the second chapter what was written in daniel the second chapter when when nebuchadnezzar saw the statue he saw the feet the feet represents 
the end right the feet represents the end of 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 our, of our kingdom because the end of this whole power structure is Ra'asha destroying Babylon because Babylon which is America is the controller of this whole beast system because there is Rome revived right that is Rome revived now Russia is not a part of NATO and the EU but it just represents that Russia is going to destroy Babylon is that is the end of the beast structure right and his mouth as the mouth of a lion which is Great Britain and the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority which is Rome Ro they rule in the image of Rome right they rule in the image of Rome and I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death because they f they fell that because they're, they're going they're going all the way back they're going all the way back to the Roman Empire where it fell that is one of the heads wounded to death and his deadly wound was healed which is Babylon which is the United States of America which you, you go get more clarity in the Revelation the 17 chapter and all the world wandered after the beast right all the world wandered after the beast so we're dealing with Edom this whole beast structure is Edom this is not like in Revel um, Daniel the 7 chapter where you have different um, ethnicities ruling this whole structure here is Edom and when the deadly wound when, it, when one of the heads was wounded to death Jake came into power that is in the Byzantine Empire for a thousand years Revelation the 20th chapter right it's, it, it's complex you, you see you men who not you, you think you just pick up the Bible the scripture says in the book of First Timothy, the third chapter, the sixth verse, not a novice, lest being lifted up in pride, he fall into the condemnation of the devil. You can't be proud in this thing, bro. That man who doing it before you, and you have to, you have to respect them. Right? So, we ain't going to go into all the breakdown here. But the point we're getting at is... We deal with Edom. The whole structure is Edom. The leper, the, the Greeks. Because everything is patterned after them. The violence, the, 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 homo, the, the, the LGBT. All these things was going on in Greece. When Alexander's four servants, Lassimachus, Cassandra, Ptolemy, and Seleucus came into power, the scripture says in the book of 1 Maccabees, the first chapter and the ninth verse, evils were multiplied in the earth. Because this is the, the, the man of sin. That is the leopard. And his whole power structure was evil. Right? So you're going to Revelation, the 13th chapter, and the 9th verse. And it says, If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. This is John the Revelator that is seeing something. The time is 6.16. What precept is 616? I'm thinking about Galatians chapter 6 and verse 16. Let me get that. Let me get that there real quick. Let me see. Let me see what I say. Galatians 6 and verse 16. It says, And as many as walk according to this rule, peace be on them and mercy upon the Israel of God. Because ultimately what I'm saying here is for the Israel of God. Because they are Israel of Satan. No, Yapa. Says if any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity, Revelation 39 and 10, shall go into captivity. As I was saying, this is John the Revelator. Yahweh Shai, who Yahweh Shai love, who 
sat u rest his head in Yahweh Shai's bosom speaking here he see Yahweh Shai show, showing him something that within this be structure it will have captivity and the ones who cap who did the captivity will eventually go into captivity like Jeremiah 30 and verse 16 they be real <laughs> let me be real bro come on see because then you read verse 7 revelation 13 and verse 7 it says and it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them so when you when he bought the saints and he overcome them what did he eventually do to the saints he made them servants to him and Paul is given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. So he made war with the saints, overcame them, and he led them into captivity. But the Lord is telling him that eventually you will eventually go into captivity. John saw that. And that wasn't something spiritual, bro. That wasn't sin. What I mean that wasn't sin? It was sin for him to levy. Go into captivity for, for treating me the way he did. Jeremiah 2 and 3. All that touched Israel was holiness unto the Lord. And the first fruits of his increase, all that devour him shall offend. Evil shall come upon them. But that was a physical thing. John was seeing something physical. It didn't have no double meaning behind that. What John was seeing was slavery. John wasn't seeing some kind of double meaning thing. John was seeing slavery taking place and he documented it in his scriptures. As what we know today as his scriptures. He was seeing Jay going into captivity by this beast structure. A key year was 1620. Year 1620. When Israel was being rounded up and led into captivity over here on the western hemisphere because we delivered a beast that was revived the roman empire that was revived that came over here in the known world the, the new world that came over here in the new world which is babylon which we know which we, which we know today as the united states of america so we deliver physical things here right now, verse 11, the beast, another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon, which going into the United States of America again, the same beast. <laughs> right? It looks peaceful, it preaches peace, but it's war in his heart. Is that Psalms 55 and 21? The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, but yet were they drawn swords. Right? He spake as a dragon, draconian measures. And he exercised all the power of the first beast before him, and caused it the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed, which is the United States of America, who come in the stead of Rome. The Roman Empire. Right? And he do it great wonders. So now we're going into Babylon setting up their power structure, the NATO, North Atlantic Treaty Organization, which also NATO in in the uh, in in the um, Italian means birth. Birth of what? The beast. It says, and he do it great wonders so that he make it fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. And was this, what, what this was? Was this some kind of similitude? Was this a similitude for sin to? This was a tangible thing that he did. Right? It had the Bosnia-Herzegovina was. 
and then you had before that Hiroshima and Nagasaki with Fat Boy and Little Boy. When the the, 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 the the American military dropped bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the first atomic bombs ever made and used, they dropped it on them and killed thousands of people in one instant. That was not something like a similitude. John saw it. It's a vision, obviously it is. But it played out. It's prophecies coming to pass. Prophecies that play out on the earth. Prophecies that play out itself. It's a prophecy. Right? And jump into verse 16. This also is a prophecy. Revelation 13 and verse 16. These things are not symbolic. A fire. Go in Hiroshima and Nagasaki and ask them if that fire coming down from heaven was fucking symbolic. Revelation 13, 16. And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. This is not symbolic. This is his mark. This now here, because you want to depart from his structure, from his image, because he is not like the regular master who would let the servant depart when the time reached. No, this is the man of sin. He is going to put a all in you. Or, or, this, or, or want to put a all in you. Hence, tagging you as his servant for life. Knowing your every move. Knowing your every step. And we could clearly see the infrastructure is in place for such a device to be functioning on the earth. And if a man say it is not, then that man is deceived. And he is not pure in heart. So he cannot see God. Because this is plain. And this is something John saw. And this is prophecy. John saw this happening. And this is prophecy that is going to happen in the very near future. The infrastructure is in place. And that no man might buy or sell. It's going into money. Because what holds the world? Their money. What holds the people? Their money. What people wake up every morning for? Their money. They wake up every morning to go to work is for the money. To see about the families. This is the world we live in. This world that we live in is not a bartering world. <laughs> we don't fucking do bartering anymore. You, 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 who does do bartering? We don't barter no more. We go in the grocery and we buy things. Right? Or we sell things. It's not a trade. Very rare does me that. You're dealing with people who buying and selling. Every fucking day. One of the Rothschilds said, Give me control over a nation's money and I care not who makes its laws. I think that was the father. The son said, I care not what, which, is, which is Nathaniel. He said, I care not which puppet sits upon the throne of England. Whoever is in control of England's money is in control of England and I in control of England's money. That's Nathaniel Rothschild and that's Maya Amshel Rothschild respectively. She says, and that no man might buy or sell. This is something tangible. This is something tangible. This is something actual. This cannot be some symbolic thing, my mention. This real. That no man might buy or sell. Save, which means except he that had the mark. 
or the name of the beast or the number of his name and all of that culminates into that because once you take that that see hip once you take it you in everything you know, you're in mark you take him mark you have his name on you and you have his number within you yes wisdom let him that had understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and his number is six hundred three score and six Ichai, Ishai, and the Sigma. And also in the barcode. The barcode formed by George Laura. I'm going to look up George Laura. George Joseph Laura III was an American engineer for IBM at Research Triangle Park in North Carolina. He published 20 bulletins, held 28 patents, and, this, and developed the Universal Product Code in the early 1970s. <sighs> and everything has a UPC code on it. I just, I just, I never do this before. I'm gonna do this. I don't know why. Where the hell I take up pictures? I, the spirit, what I guess. Um. Numbers have letters have numbers behind them. Let me see. Nope. Uh, yeah, Syrian. Um, select. No, no. I'll see here. What are you saying? One, two, three, four, five, six. Because I hear people say, I don't know, did I say the um on the months I can't is six six six. So I just looking up I just looking up this. And I guess why they say is six 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 because I just know it. You see the 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 um it's straight it's straight down there. This has nothing to do with the doctrine, I was looking it up. I was looking it up. First time I look it up. I said I'm gonna look it up. But in the barcode, right? In the universal product code, you have the two you have, you have the two long lines in the front, two long lines in the middle, two long lines in the end, and each of them translate into six. So that is your six, six, six there. Also, six represents incompletion. Six represents incompletion. So this devil is completely incomplete. All right. It's like sem 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 represents completion complete complete six it represents carnality it represents a sis, a vibration of incompletion 
not ascending to the to the to the actual place it close but it not ascending to where jake supposed to really be which is complete and that is this devil system <laughs> and like i say the code formed by george laura on every universal product code you have two lines two lines two lines front middle and last and each of them represents six and the word sigma 603 score and six the word six the last let the last number six the last word for six is sigma right Let's see the sigma here. Yeah. Yeah. You know why they change it? Why they change it? I used to get as long time, right? <laughs> it's he he G sigma. Strong's G fifty five sixteen. Chi, xi, stigma. Chi, xi. Stigma. Right. And what stigma is? A stigma. A stigma. So that. Is something that sticks on you. A stigma sticks on you. I used to get these six by itself, but they ain't giving it all by itself. I know why. Okay. Yeah, I, I used to get it by itself. I used to get six. I used to get sigma by itself. You know, going that stigma. <coughs> but um. They, they don't know to change up everything. But um, I'm going to get what stigma is. Stigma. Stigma meaning, right? A mark of disgrace associated with a particular circumstance, quality, or person. <laughs> a mark of disgrace. See that? That is a stigma. Because I would have gone and do the yeah, mark of this grace, which is that that hole that are going and chuck inside of your body. Alright? So, as I say, it's it clear. Right? The, the, the mark clear. It's not. If you're if it, if it, if it, alright, just listen here, you will see it. If you can't see it because you're blind, bro. And as it says in the book of 2nd Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 4. It says, if our gospel be it, it is it to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world had blinded the minds of them that believe not, my brethren. So, you go and check yourself. Alright? 600, 3 score, and 6. 666. Six, six. Add up to 777. What 777 represents? 777 represents completion. Complete completion. Six 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 is is is, a, is on a lower vibration. And um that is Esau's number. Evil represents an evil wicked man. A carnal man. But it's a physical thing going and come here. It's no no it's no no kicksy thing. The M O T B is the C here. So that I'll give all praises and glory to you. How about Shami Awashai, Basham, Rakha Kodash, hopefully been edified. Shalom.